choreographer of the dance troupe known as Portico. I reside in Valley, Washington. I moved here about a year ago, and I love it here. Originally, I am from Arizona. How long have you been dancing? I, well, all right. So, if we're talking ancient history, um, I have been dancing, I suppose, since I was four years old, which was uh, ballet, of course. Um, and my very first stage performance was at four years old in Singapore in Southeast Asia, where I grew up. Oh, my and, goodness. Uh, I think my, the tone for my entire stage career was set by that performance because what happened was uh, during my exit from the stage, I was playing Diamond Sprite. Uh, in a big production of uh, Sinbad, the Sailor. And I ran smack into one of the other little dancers on stage, uh, head first, knocked myself out, and he had to drag me off stage. Oh. So, <laughs> so, so I feel that that had uh, influenced me greatly um, because I came to backstage at four years old with the sound of a glorious laughter ringing in my ears because, of course, the audience thought it was planned. I knocked myself out cold. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So, so that gave me a big awareness of how uh, comedy and um, acting are probably even more important than dancing. You give the audience something that they can laugh at and they really love it. Anyway, I'm digressing. <laughs> A little bit about your new troop. So. Um, all right. Well, uh, in a sense, it's kind of a new troop, um, but also it's it's kind of more of uh, an amalgamation of everything that has gone before. Mm -hmm. So, and as you, as I, as I just mentioned, I have a lot of different styles that have influenced me that I've done. I forgot to mention that I'm also a uh, fight choreographer, not. But uh, I do fight choreography. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, so that so that gets in there, too. I've got a big theater background in terms of acting uh, and also technical uh, backstage stuff. So that has all influenced me greatly. And um, for many years, as you may or may not know, uh, I have been in charge of and founded a troupe called Boom Boom Bollywood. Right, right. And we did many good things together. I, I am so grateful for all the dancers who worked with me uh, during Boom Boom Bollywood. And I formed Boom Boom Bollywood when I was still with Domba, Tribal Fusion Dance Group, which you studied with Kelly as well. <laughs> um, yes. So, uh, and, of course, that is what got me started in the tribal belly dance world was working with Dalva and Heidi Alexander, Tom Cooper, um, Haven Hefner, and Alicia Tash, uh, as well as many other members of the troupe uh, that came and went during the years. But um, while I was in Dalva, I started the Boom Boom Bollywood project, uh, and it was very particularly focused on Bollywood and Bhangra dance. Mm -hmm. But the reason why it was focused only on that is because I was, of course, involved in this other big belly dance project, Domba. Right. Um, when I moved to Bellingham, Washington, I, you know, I kind of, I left behind all of my dancers except one, which is my daughter, uh, so she had to come along. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I started teaching dance here and decided that uh, I needed to form a troupe that was, that incorporated Bollywood, Bhangra, and belly dance, and African dance, and anything else we might do, uh, burlesque, sword fighting, whatever. 
Mm-hmm. So uh, that so portico is the name for everything all mashed together, and it's mostly people from Bellingham, but also includes people from Arizona and now Morro Bay, California. Uh, should they be available to work with me, members of Boom Boom Bollywood, uh, who would still like to you know do projects now and then collaborations. Mm-hmm. So. Um, yeah, it's based here, but includes collaborating artists in a few different states. And uh, just to mention their names. Go ahead. Uh, in Bellingham, uh, Josephine Riggs, my daughter, Heather Smith, Nancy Pierce, Miley Francisco, Kathleen Hausman, Marley Simmons, and uh, almost all of these dancers will be traveling with me to Tribal Fest, so you'll meet them there. <gasps> Yay! And, and Okay. And then in Morro Bay, Gina Sonardo, who is an amazing Bollywood choreographer herself and was my assistant director in Boom Boom Bollywood for years. Wow. Now, I didn't count how many there were, but how many are there all together? Uh, in Bellingham, besides myself, there are six, then three in Phoenix, and one in Morro Bay. Okay. Wow. So, goals for the troop? Um, I guess, let's see, that's, that's always a difficult question for me. I mean, for me, dancing is about a cultural connection, mm-hmm. uh, which may or may not have been obvious from my history with it, starting with English folk dance and going into Middle Eastern dance and African dance, uh, and it's still that, but more sort of now, uh, more of a connection to our culture overall as people living in this dimension or whatever it is, mm-hmm. matrix. Right. I don't know what it is exactly. <laughs> Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes, it does. It does. You worded that wonderfully. And, uh, 